Okay, so a tennis ball is released from rest at height H above the ground. At each bounce, 50% of its kinetic energy is lost to its surroundings. What is the height reached by ball after its second bounce? Okay, after its second bounce, and that is the most important thing, okay? So in each bounce, 50% of the energy is lost. So basically, this is the ball, and it goes down. And after that, 50% of the energy is lost. So let us say uh, the potential energy initially it was mgh and now the kinetic energy is half mv square and whatsoever 50% is lost. So it means that 50% of the total energy is lost because um, as it moves from the position A to position B, the all of the energy which is potential energy is converted into kinetic energy first of all. So 50% of the kinetic energy means 50% of the whatever total energy the body was having, it has been lost. So now it is remaining only 50%. So obviously with this much of the energy, it would be going at uh, half of the height. Like why? Because earlier the energy is mgh, but after the bounce, it is mgh by 2. The half of the energy is left with the body. So the mass does not change, the gravity does not change, so height has to change. So it means the body will go up to h by 2. Now it further, it goes for the second bounce and it again moves up. And 50% of whatever the energy it was having, that has been lost. So the 50% of this, it will be mgh by 4, half of the half. So mgh by 4. It means now it will again attain the height which is h by 4. Which is h by 4. So h is the total energy. It is h by 2 and then it is h by 4 further. So your answer will be h by 4. Answer will be B. So you are left only with 20%, 25% of the energy. 100% energy. In this it is having 50%. In this 25% of the energy, that is why it is H by 4. All the best. Bye.